Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starwind video. Today we're continuing our series of videos where we showing how to use Starwind V2V converter to convert virtual machines between different platforms. And today I'm going to show you how to use V2V converter to convert virtual machine to Proxmox platform. So let's get started. And the first step of the conversion process is making sure that the source virtual machine is powered off. Currently, Starwind V2V Converter in the current version, Starwind V2V Converter doesn't support so-called hot conversion or the conversion of the powered on VM. So if you didn't power off the VM before starting the conversion, the conversion process will fail and you won't get the expected result. So in my case, I already prepared everything for this video. So my VM is already powered off. So let's go to the next step. And the next step is just start the Starwind V2V Converter software and select the source platform. In my case, the source platform is VMware cluster. So I'm selecting that option, the VMware option from the list of options that you can see right now on your screen. We're going to the next step. The next step is to put the, all of the information about the source platform. I mean, the IP address and the user to connect V2V converter software to the source platform. With the VMware, you have two options to choose from. First option is to point Starwind V2V converter to vCenter server appliance. And then the next step, you will be selecting the server where the virtual machine is sitting or you can put, or you can not put, you can point V2V converter software directly to that server. In my case, for the sake of this video, I will point the V2V converter software to vCenter server appliance, just to show you this option. Let me put the information about my vCenter server appliance. Uh, Okay. And the password. Let me double check one more time that I put everything correctly. Okay, so let's go to the next step. And as you can see, I have a list of all of the servers that are in the cluster. So I need to select the server which has my VM on it. And that's the first server in the list. And as you can see, our virtual machine is powered off one. So we're selecting it. We're going to the next step. The next step is to choose or select the target platform. In our case, Proxmox. So we select an Proxmox option. Go into the next step. And like with the VMware, we need to put the information about the target platform. So let me put the information about the host, the Proxmox host that I have. 31 as well the user and the password let's go to the next step and the next step is to put all the information and assign all of the resources to the virtual machine that will be put on the Proxmox server after the conversion so it's the name of the virtual machine ID for the Proxmox system storage where the virtual machine will be put server in the Proxmox cluster where we want to put the VM after the conversion, memory and CPU resources. And also you can choose to convert virtual machine to Qcode 2 format and put it on the Proxmox. But I want to let you know that this option, if you select the Qcode 2 conversion, it will require much more time to complete the conversion. So if you want to use that, prepare for much longer conversion. Yeah, so once we select it and put all of the information and select all of the settings, we just need to click convert and converter will start the conversion. So everyone, that's all of the steps of the conversion of the virtual machine to Proxmox. So thank you for your time, for being with us on this video. Uh, I hope you learned more today about the Starwind V2V converter and in which cases you can use it. 
and now you are more prepared for the different conversions and you know more options for you to convert virtual machine so yeah as i always say take care and i see you next video